Popularity of electric vehicles may put too much strain on the power grid. That's if changes aren't made to keep up with it. Consumer investigator Steve Sprays, you're getting answers when it comes to outages and your wallet. The power grid, it's an essential part of everyday life. However, segments of it are showing their age. 75% of the grid, based on the Department of Energy studies, might be at end of life. A new report by Kobe Financial Services says age, weather, and power generating mixes are undermining the U.S. power system faster than its infrastructure can be replaced or reinforced. Most of our distribution companies, you know, they, they, they're not built for doubling the load especially if it's going to occur overnight. What's adding to the sudden increase in power consumption? It's the electric vehicle. Now you say that electric vehicles are being adopted faster than anticipated? They are indeed. Here's how each electric vehicle adds to the grid's workload. If you go out and you buy a Ford F-150 truck, you're looking at maybe doubling the electricity load in your household. Multiply that by many other households and the demand puts a strain on the system. Add to that many people wanting to charge their vehicles when they come home at peak power usage times. All that adds to consumption and to your electric bill. If you decide to charge that vehicle, during a period of time when the grid is already stressed, you're going to be paying up for it. The report says people need to change their charging mindset, doing it in the middle of the day while at work and not topping off the battery. 95% of the time, Steve, our cars are, are parked, so we have a lot of opportunity on when we charge them. And putting hundreds of thousands more EVs on the road will be a challenge to power providers requiring innovative techniques to cope. One possibility, grid operators are thinking they might ask owners of electric vehicles to store excess power in their vehicle's batteries and then reverse the flow to help power the grid during times of extreme demand. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasia.